Welcome back to the Yoski. I'm Gray, and today we have more of our Carthage campaign here for you. I wasn't quite sure what to call that. Um, it's been a bit of a rough week for uh, for me here, so um, uh, this episode may or may not be a little shorter than it should be. Um, all right, cats, fucking stop. Anyway, um, just cause, you know, like I said, it's just been, it's just been a rough week. We'll see how, um, immersed and how, uh, how lost I get in this game today. Um, although I do have, uh, some, some interesting shit to talk about while we play this. Um, we are going to see how this whole, uh, whatever you want to call it, this whole, uh, situation here with them. Kelsey being confed and um, the Lusitani shapes up. Um, what I really hope happens and what I was going to do, but we'll see how this goes over here. Um, so I was hoping they'd go take Kartuba, sweep on down to Gadira, and then while they're at Gadira, we can just go and snake Kartuba from them. That's what I was hoping to do, but um, we'll see how that shapes up. Because it may or may not happen. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and and start this shit so um anyway so i was uh, sitting here the other night thinking thinking and i've known for a while that the ff7 remake's coming out and one of the reasons i started thinking about this is because i was you know playing ff9 and then started ff10 last night after i finished nine and i was i was like why am i not why am i not super excited for this game why like what is wrong with me what what's what's going on like what what's wrong why don't i give a shit that this game's coming out it's one of my favorites of all time and then it dawned on me i'm like wait a minute let me check this out so i do a little digging on the internets and uh of course come to find out that they do plan on changing the, um... This fucker leave? Is that right? This... So anyway, I did, I did find out that they plan on changing... Or at least, um... Altering the combat system in FF7. And I'm like, ah. That's it. And I'm like, yeah. That makes sense that they would do that. Because they've been really fucking that shit up with 13 and all that good stuff recently. So... There's that. Which really bums me out, honestly. It really does. It's just one of those things where, god damn. Like, like I said, I'm sure it'll be some fucking active fucking bullshit. Because that's what they're fucking doing these days, is all this fucking active time battle bullshit. And this is the thing is, too, it's like just fucking fake ass, lame as hell you know, active time battle bullshit. I hate it. I hate it. And a lot of people felt the same way, like, <clears throat> the paradigms were a cool idea in 13. And, and, and I do believe that. I did feel like the paradigms were interesting in FF13. I like that idea. Similar to 12. I really enjoyed 12 a lot. But, oh my god, was 13 just, like, it felt like like you didn't really endear yourself to any of the characters. Whoever your leader was, and I hated this thing too, the whole if your leader dies, your group dies thing, that's fucking bullshit. I hate that shit with a passion. That's dumb. I'm sorry, that's just dumb. Oh, your leader died, so your whole fucking group just fucking kills over. No, fuck you. I mean, I got fucking three other people or whatever it was in my group. Part of the party, and I can't fucking use any of them. Bullshit. Hate that shit. Hate that shit. So, yeah. There's that. And, uh, I mean, I know it's a long way off and things can still change. I know that. I get that. And I fucking hope they do. Good, Because, good God, I mean, just, uh, when I When I read that, I was like, I knew it was happening. I knew it was coming. And I had this, it was, it's my greatest fear, that's what it is. It's my greatest fear when it comes to that shit. 
So now it's going to be this FF15 bullshit where people are just fucking running around jerking off and apparently monsters are fucking dying and you don't get to control any of them. You don't get to choose what they fucking do. They just fucking are off doing whatever the fuck they feel like. I hate that shit. That's not, that's not something that I feel like, that's not something that makes the game fun. It's not fun to me. I don't find it fun to just, you know, like I said, like, FF12, 12. 12 was different, and I'll tell what, I'll tell, I'll tell why, I will tell why, I'll tell you why, 12 was different because you had control over the gambits, so even though they were on, they were on, you know, on some, you know, artificial intelligence, whatever you want to fucking call it, on, on a script, just the fact that you chose what script they're on is what I want. I'm still choosing their commands. They're still doing what I want them to do in the order that I want them to do them. And so therefore I make these gambits and I make these basically artificial intelligence scripts for them. And they follow those commands. Which I'm like, eh, that's a neat idea. I'm okay with that. I'll deal with that. I like that. That's okay with me. But I, fucking 13 was just... Like, I just didn't like it. And that's something, too. Like, think about 13, and no one no one talks about this either. Um, all the characters, of course, they could perform other roles. But all the characters had specific roles. They did specific things. They had specific jobs, and they didn't do anything else. And they didn't do anything else well, quite honestly. They did some things, okay, kind of decent. But the people who were best at, you know, say, being a tank or being a healer, that's what they were best at, and that's what they were always best at, and that's pretty much their one and only role and I hate that shit so much I I like being able to to turn people into what I want them to be that's just all there is to it I like that I like being able to say hey I want you to be my healer I want you to be my tank I want you to be my black mage I want to be able to choose who is what I don't like having them certain roles that they're in that um that kind of irritates me especially especially when um oh wow they were destroyed huh especially with um mm, can you get up there yeah you can fuck damn it see damn it i screwed that up i fucked that up hard Damn. The hell, how far can you travel? Oh, you can travel out here. We'll just turn you on regular fucking stance or whatever, because we're not going to be able to get there in the appropriate amount of time, so we'll move you back here, because we can. And that's the right thing to do. There we go. But, anyhow. Like I said, I like having that control over shit. I like having... You know, being able to, to, to define roles for my characters. Especially when, like, you know, you've got a cast of characters. And, like I said, quite honestly, it you lose. You don't, you're not quite as, in, like, endeared to characters if you don't control them. You know what I mean? At least I'm not. I, if I can't control them, I don't really give a fuck about them. Like, there are some people in 13 that I liked. The majority of them I didn't like, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. But we need to take care of this this army right here. We really do. Because I have a feeling, I have a sneaky suspicion that they're going to try and take Tingus from us. Which may be something we have to let them do and then clean up behind them. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Troubled Populous and Terracanensis. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, anyway. that's my That's my spiel about fucking the state of oh fuck I didn't take care of the Roman thing there either damn it damn it damn it damn it I meant to I meant to and shit now the Gallic Confederation's coming for us you saw that although well, chances are they're just gonna set up camp and raid which fucking ugh. that shit gets so old yeah you're gonna you're going to attack Whatever the fuck it's called in that place. Tingus, yeah. That's what I thought. Hmm. 
Hmm. You can get there, right? Yep. We'll take Kartuba. Oh, fucking hell. Seriously. Thank you. Fucking jerk. <laughs> I was like, God damn, are you serious? I can't fucking get there. Alright, so we're gonna assault this shit and uh, get this done and over with. And, um, I think we're just going to hold on to Tingus. If they, if they take Tingus, which is not the end of the world, we are going to control the army there. We're going to try and take as much out of them as possible and slow them down. And uh, then I think we'll just sweep south. This might actually work out pretty well, even if we cede control of some of these settlements for a short period of time, which uh, typically I don't like to do, but... It's, uh, it may be necessary just because we just don't have enough manpower right now. It's great, though. Well, good thing is this. They have 15 units in there, that army that's attacking Tingus. They're, since they're besieging, they're not able to get, um, they're not able to, um, recruit or, uh, you know, uh, yeah, not able to recruit or regenerate any of their army. So... And in fact, they're suffering, should be suffering nutritional losses right now, same as we are at Tingus. So hopefully that buys us some time to get down there. Um, problem will be, though, is this. They will have, likely, the garrison at Gadira to reinforce them, I think. So I think what we'll have to do is go down, attack Gadira next turn, if they don't disengage from Tingus, which they might end up doing. Which I hope they do, actually. That was one thing I liked about the older games. is like, when you'd attack settlements of theirs, they would disengage from stuff and then come defend it. They were looking to stop your armies. They wanted to go defeat their your armies. Nowadays, now in this one, I just... The AI, just like I said many a times before, they just want absolutely nothing to do with you. And it's really irritating, because... You kind of, you kind of want to, you know, fight sometimes. I mean, it's just, it's obviously in your, oh, fuck. It's obviously in your best interest a lot of times to fight. So, but uh, like I said, this game just doesn't like that idea, apparently. We're just going to go with these as It's one big ass unit. I have a feeling, though, um, this this altercation, unless we're able to defend Tingus, is likely going to cost um, cost us quite a bit of lives. Quite honestly, will likely likely be pretty shitty for us. Um, so there's that to look forward to, I guess. All right. Anyway, let's start this fucking battle. Hmm. Good thing is they don't have much for um, ranged units, so that's good. Just the towers that we have to fucking deal with, or the no oh, these towers. Fuck. Thought that one was over here. So I'm starting to question why the fuck am I over here? God damn, what is wrong with me? But anyhow, uh, let's double line you so you're a little more compact and bring you up, bring you guys up. The horses can stay back there. They're not going to really do anything until we capture these. This spot right here, so. Um. Oh, fuck. Why are you going? Alright, there we go. Now you're, now you're not doing so many stupid things. Alright, let's get these guys up on the walls. Oh, Jesus, they're gonna vacate that area pretty quick, huh? Alright, so I guess we'll go bring you guys up there. And uh, just kind of go nuts over here, huh? 
Sounds sounds like a plan to me. We need to capture these fucking towers over here. That's what we really need to do. Good thing is they're just uh, they're just garrison units, so we're not really not really too too pressed to do anything about any of them. And only one unit's really suffering all that many losses right now, and they shouldn't here. Shouldn't be suffering too many here before long, so things will go quickly, I hope. Boy, our fucking javelin men are going nuts. They're going nuts. Going off on these guys. Yeah, fuck them. No oh, shit. We need to go take care of these assholes. Don't like them. Get up on the walls, son. I like attacking from this position and some of these settlements because that's the town center thing right there you gotta go take control of to, to take the settlement. So makes it pretty easy when you only gotta go that far. So fuck you. Fuck you, tower. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. We gotta get these guys out of here. And then we'll be able to control the gate. And the towers aren't shooting at us anymore because they don't have control over them anyhow. So after that's done, we will go ahead and turn and take out these archers, which I'm going to move these guys and have them go after them too. All right, go. Go, 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 go. You know, as we get hammered by this fucking tower over here. Ah, uh, besieging settlements are so much more fun. So much more fun. I like how they're running through this giant ass pond here that's just in the middle of the city. Who the fuck is this? Uh, I guess they are the. Hmm. This will go do this. Have you guys go over there? Capture the town center because this is getting kind of stupid the way these guys are running away here. And I know as soon as I fucking turn, as soon as I turn, see, look at that. As soon as I stop, they stop. Throw shit at me. Fucking hate that shit. Fucking hate that shit. That, like, that perfect, perfectly timed artificial intelligence. That, oh, look, they're not going anywhere. They're not coming after us anymore. We'll turn tail and kick them in the ass. Because we're smart and perfect like that. Sports games have a habit of doing that shit too. Or they're just fucking... Yeah, like, just magic magic hands. They just know constantly what to fucking do, where to fucking be. I hate that shit too. You, why are you fucking there? Go. Go over there, you fucking dummy. Jesus. Yeah, now you're throwing shit at them. Yeah, fuck those assholes. Fuck them. Run away. Alright, there we go. It's a little bit better than I anticipated. We only have one unit, and that's a little worse for wear. But, that's that. I would like, I would like to, um, to, to take, or not take, to defend Tingus before um before obviously before they attempt to besiege it although quite honestly i'd like to see them try and take it i hope they don't just sit there and try and uh whatever it's fucking called um i need to check that actually when we get out of this i need to check how many how many turns we can hold out because chances are that's probably what they're going to do if they're not going to try and attack it right away usually they'll just sit there and try and attrition the settlement out and you know, make it surrender. Um, there should be quite a few turns, quite honestly, because we've invested some of our research into that shit. So, in terms of defending these large settlements like this, um, we have a pretty good chance of of uh, keeping hold of them. So, there's that. That to look forward to. Um, 
like I said, I really hope they do attack us, because that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Although, quite honestly, I don't know... I haven't defended a settlement um, that's set up like ours architecturally with the large walls that you have to get up and get down off of um, in a while, so I may be a little rusty and unsure of where to put my guys. Especially since we have cavalry. Those will... Those aren't very useful when you have settlements like ours to defend with the walls the way they are because obviously you can't get the horses up there and all that good shit. And I mean, it's just it's just much harder unless, you know, it's just much harder to move them around and get them to where you need to be. Sometimes I have like actually seated the walls to the enemy and just let them take the losses when, when they're getting up there. You know, just let them take the losses by getting, you know, by the towers and all that shit. And fought them in the town. But, um, with these guys, I'd probably want to take them on the walls. In all honesty, because they'll likely have, well, I mean, they will have more troops, so I'd probably have to try and bottleneck them in some way. Used to be able to do that pretty well with some of the, some of the doors and shit. Or some of the doors, some of the gates. That was something that I would do a lot of so now that we have this place and look at that we went up we can have more armies now yay 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 okay all right enough of that shit convert these settlements convert you into a muster field because we can um, what should we make you? Let's make you consecrated ground or hmm. 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 I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure what I want. Probably wise to go with a pair of muster fields to begin with. With a defense. Ooh, they don't have shit for a garrison down there right now. Nice. That could prove useful. That could prove useful. Please tell me we were researching something last turn. Um, Sidonian rights. What do you do for me? Ooh. 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 Ooh, shit. We might want to fucking put points into that now. Put points. Fucking research that shit now. God damn. God damn. Because they're making decent money and stuff right now. So I'm not really... Ooh, we need, need to start working on these. But we'll do that after the after the troop. The troop one that we're working on. The one to make everybody better. Um, don't we have a... I guess we don't. Barracus. You get your ass down there. Look at this guy. Because I want to see what he's got. Cooking. Oh shit! Five turns before we surrender. Okay, if they're gonna wait for that, we'll have plenty of time. I think. I think we'll have plenty of time if they're gonna wait for that. So. And you guys are, like I said, I'm gonna do what I think you're gonna do. I think they're probably just gonna fucking set up cam and just start raiding like a fucking couple of dickheads. So I doubt that they're gonna come down here and actually try and attack us. Because they're dickheads like that. I like to do shit like that. Some bastards. Hate them. Hate every one of them. So anyhow, all right. So that I think we'll end this turn. Just trying. Oh, oh, oh! Almost forgot again. Almost forgot again. Mm -mm -mm. Can't be forgetting. Go fuck this guy up. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Now, the will probably just jump across the street here next turn and and run away. That's what they do. So anyhow, alright. Now I'll end this turn and... Oh shit, that's right. That's right, we have another edict we can hand out. Um, first we need to fix you. Make you happy. Let's give you that. So I like that one. How are we 
nutritionally here. Oh, I haven't even lost anyone yet. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. What are we gonna do? Hmm. All right, we are gonna do something here. I think we'll do bread and games. It's kind of just like the basic one I do usually. I just kind of do that and just say to hell with it. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, you little bitch. Fuck you, Rome. I wonder, I was thinking about this earlier today, I wonder if there is... If the AI has, like, different kind of, like, different scripts and shit for, um, different campaigns. So, like, if you play as Carthage, like, the Rome will be a little more ambitious or whatever. I was thinking about that, and then... Because, like I said, Rome didn't do shit. Like, Rome did not do shit in my Celebia campaign. They were just fucking... They did nothing. They didn't even get out of the Apennines or anything. They like, they had a couple of small settlements strung out around the Mediterranean, but like they just did nothing the entire game. I mean, they were just terrible. Just didn't do shit. Didn't do shit. You know what I might fucking do here? Because this guy's a dick. Might do this. Zayat uh, Boods. Merball. Agball. Sepidam. Move with you. Raise the fucking army. And we'll have General's Bodyguard. And then we'll have you. Oops. We want you in Arse. Shit. Arse is pretty healthy. Healthy, uh. Garrison there. All right, we'll start there. Just to piss this guy off, because he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna go fucking take your shit, cause I'm a fucking sneaky little bastard." And that's not gonna happen. Nope. Not gonna happen, bitch. All right, so the fuck? Don't tell me. Don't tell me how to fucking deal with that shit, too. Hmm. So, here is what we may end up doing. Can we, in fact? Ooh, shit. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. This isn't bad. Um, this isn't terrible. This isn't bad at all, really. Because it's a small settlement. Shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know how we're getting on the fucking... Uh, I guess this does have a dock, huh? Damn. Alright, anyway. I'm not too worried about like their garrison here, which they have some bit of a garrison now, but... Let's go ahead, and hopefully then this will lift the siege on Tingus and really, really help us out here, I think. I hope, hope, hope. Too bad we can't get reinforcements from Tingus. I mean, they aren't, they aren't too far away, but it'd be nice. It would be nice. I have to say that it would be nice. So, okay. This is going to be tricky because of all the fucking reinforcements. <sighs> um, hmm. Let's see. I think we're going to want, I think we're going to want everyone kind of in the same same general area. I think I think I'm gonna try and want I'm gonna try and want I'm gonna try to get my my units kind of clustered together. I think that's probably the best way to go about this because they do have so many fucking reinforcements. That's the problem. That's the real problem here. Because we get just so much to deal with. So we got Okay, I think we are going to do 
uh, groups of four and a group of three. Now, hopefully, I don't lose my shit and just forget what's what. So, chances are that will happen now. So, just saying. Um, it's probably not wise to split us up too much. I don't think. Um, because I want, I kind of want everyone. Like I said, I just don't know. I don't know where their their reinforcements are coming from. So, I know we're gonna have stuff coming from over here. So it'd probably be best to jump in here right quick. And control the town center. And yeah. And then hopefully we can use our horses. What'll make this ooh shit. I should yeah, see they got a lot of a aquatic. I almost call them aquatic. A lot of um see, okay, that's good. We want them to do what they're doing. At least I, I kinda do. I don't want you to go so I fuck that up. So I don't want them I don't want them on their boats throwing shit at me. And that's one problem with the Lusitani. A lot of their units are ranged as well. And that makes things a little difficult. They can completely ruin my cavalry if I let them just fucking throw shit at me. So Here's the hoping that we don't let them do that. That's also one thing I'm trying to trying to kind of you know, kind of um funnel their shit into one little area and so we can kind of uh doesn't look like we've got it doesn't look like we've got um they've got too much for us to worry about they don't have any siege weaponry that's what's good fuck is that good that we don't have siege weaponry that's nice that's very nice actually you are just swordsmen Light Iberian Cavalry. Go ahead and go take that. Go take that shit. You're Spears. So I'm not... Light Spear Infantry. So go ahead and take that. Yeah, see this is where we... Splitting up the troops is kind of a good idea. In, in terms of groupings. Splitting them up into little groups is, is a good idea. Now we want to take these guys... Go there, because you really don't want to run them on our... Why are you not attacking that? That's the real question. Yeah, see, stay away from those boats, because they'll throw shit at us. We don't want that. In fact, go ahead and do that. Collapse in on them. We kind of do want our horses there. And actually, go ahead and take that. Go do that. You guys collapse in on these fuckers. Well, these guys are just fucking booking it around today, aren't they? Jesus. They ain't playing around. Alright, so that's that. I don't like how they're kind of skirmishing here. Kind of. Ooh. You guys get over here. Where are these guys? These guys. I want you guys to hold up the rear and just kind of... Yeah, because I think that's the bulk of the army that was at Tingus right there. I think. I think that's... And that should be that other army that was floating around somewhere. So really what we're doing is we're trying to, we've done a good job so far of replacing them in the town center. Now it's our shit. Now it's our shit, damn it. Is that right? Yeah, I want you guys to kind of sit there. Now you guys over there, you guys over there. Um, you are three units of, oh fuck this. I got you assholes. Yeah, we'll let them. We're okay with them going over there. Actually, what we are going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to set these guys right here. 
You guys go up there. What the fuck are you shooting at? Actual. Uh, 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 fuck. No. Too many units there. Too many units there. We're gonna swing them around, I think. We are gonna do is we're gonna swing you guys in there though. Go plug up that gap and so we can swing the horses around. We really just want to engage them fuckers and then fuck their shit all up. That's the plan. You guys though. Support them. Now we can start these guys. Get these guys moving. These guys will take care of the these dudes when they disembark. Really want them just to hold them and we're gonna swing these guys, like I said, around. Go, 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 gadget horses. Our spearmen will most likely take a good chunk of losses here. Come on, get over there. There we go. Finally, our Peltus made it. The men are wavering. Yeah, it's that one unit that got pretty beat up. Yep, come on. Disembark, you fuckers. Let me go screw your shit up. Ah, come on. There we go. Yes, that happens. Units use all of their ammunition. Although this will help right here, taking care of these guys, taking care of their slingers and shit. That'll really help with our uh, morale. You guys should be all right over here. Yeah, these guys are about to eat it. All right, now go fucking hurt up those Iberian swordsmen and piss them off. I don't know where this asshole is going. I don't think there's enough room to land. That's funny and yet kind of annoying at the same time. Yeah, why are we not, uh, why, why are these guys just walking around us and not engaging anything here? Alright, what the fuck is going on with these horses here? Well, we're routing units at least, Jesus. That was fucking scaring me, like they're just fucking caught on the wall, like, seriously. Yeah, go ahead and attack that other unit that's just standing there doing nothing. Yeah, get these assholes out of here. Oh, look. That boat's routing too. That's good. That's real good. Jesus. Now that was an ass kicking. That went very, very well. Damn, we only had 71 losses. That's not bad. We only lost one real unit. That's okay. That's okay. Not bad. Not bad. So we gained a settlement, and we should have um, pushed that other army off of Tingus. Should. They should no longer be there. Now, the real trick is going to be defending both Gadira and Kartuba with this this army right here. It's going to be that's going to be a little difficult to do so. Um, now, the question is this. Um, with the shit that we're researching... Um, it basically upgrades our Carthaginian Hoplites and our Libyan Peltists. And if I wonder if we can upgrade those or if they just stay as they are. Hopefully we can convert them to, to the new shit for, uh, for a lot of obvious reasons. I mean, if they're going to be better, then yeah, why not? With, especially with all the experience and shit that these units have already with them. And all that good shit, so. Anyhow. It's two battles down. We got Kartuba and Gadira. We got a whole new region, too. A whole new province, whatever they call it. I don't remember. That's regions or provinces or whatever. 
I think for the sake of this, we'll just call them provinces and all these little things as settlements. Nah, fuck you. Fuck you. Sacred company is kicking your ass. That's right. Kicking your ass. Yep, we only lost one unit. Not bad. Not bad. That went better. Better than I could have could have imagined, really. Now you, yeah, now you need to start. Ah, it has no monies. Ah, has no monies. All right. Think we'll leave that as it is. You're not really anything to worry about. Um. Yeah, you're recruiting. You are gonna be. Uh, I really hope they attack. I really don't. Actually, how long can you? How long can you hang? Hang on. You got a decent garrison there. All right, show me the provincial details. How long is it? Fuck, you don't have that anymore until I get... Until I legitimately get besieged? Really? That sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. Unless I'm just missing it somewhere. Anyhow, all right. So, that will end this turn. And we'll probably have combat next turn or in between this turn and that turn hey look at that little guy decided to show up yeah fuck you Rome fuck you fuck you we still unfortunately just don't have enough yeah where are you going bitch bitch So now I'm curious as to what that asshole's gonna do. See, yeah, he ran away like a little bitch. And now you're gonna go up to Kartuba and I assume try and take it with one. One unit. He may. Oh, he'll probably grab some mercenary units. I always hate that when they show up with one little small unit. Like, oh, this will be nothing. I'll be able to defend this with the troops that I have there. And then they're like, oh, yeah, nope. I recruited some bitches on the way. And you're like, ah, oh, you mother. I hate that shit. But anyhow, we will now convert all these things to warships. And then... Yeah, we'll build ourselves a consecrated ground right here. That's probably as good a place as any, right? Right. Because you should be... Yeah, we got Carthage and Alpates. You are going to be done in one turn. You have nothing yet. Mm, that worries me. That worries me. Quite a bit. Um. Mm, decisions, decisions. Population surplus. There we go. That's always nice to have, right? That's what I thought. Oh, I don't have any food coming out of this region. Just realized that. Fuck it. We'll just keep on with that. We'll just go ahead and keep making uh, making monies out of this Mauritania and food over in the east. Because that sounds like a good idea. Does it not? Does it not? Does it not? Does it not? Right? Anyhow, so we've got Kartuba to defend here momentarily. Like I said, he'll probably recruit something on the way there. But you can't. Ooh. Oh, I can't. I don't have any money. Fuck it. Uh. Hmm. See, like I said, I don't want to risk it because normally I would just say fuck it and just stay here, but he won't be able to attack Gadira anyway because he's got to turn his thing off and I don't know if he can make it there. So we're going to go up there and then hole up and 
call it good. Who was destroyed? Royal Scythia. Well, they don't seem too troubled anymore. Moreau. Never even heard of that faction. Interesting. Interesting shit. Alright, so. I wanted to click on that. That's what I wanted to click on. Damn it. So now, what are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do? That's the question that we're all asking. What is this asshole going to do? Walls of Ursa are itching for a fucking fight. Just saying. Let's secure promotion. Because I can. And we need we need some more uh, cultural or some more faction influence here. Because you have this guy running amok right now. And same with this guy here. But these guys are the two who have my biggest armies at their disposal. So they're kind of easily uh, racking that shit up. So. Yeah. But anyway, that, that, that'll turn back in our favor soon enough. Just one of those things that once they fucking die, they have someone else, and then you just adopt them, and then they run, run wild with those units again, because that's probably what's going to happen. The walls of Bursa and the Seika Company are going to get pretty big over here in the Iberian Peninsula. Yeah, you little bitch. Now you're just like waiting for me to leave. That's all that asshole's doing. It's just like, I'm just going to sit over here and wait for you to fucking leave. I'm going to build my little. Shitty walls. Fuck, I forgot. I got that guy over there. I need to bring him back to Carlos. Or I could just take a lolly. Hmm. God, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Hmm. Decision time. Decision time, kids. Decision time. Yeah, this asshole. He's just gonna fucking... He literally is just gonna hole up over there. There's an here, and the good thing is he can't recruit in that stance, so. They're not gonna grow any bigger. I really think we should. You. Carlos has a pretty healthy garrison. Okay, I'm not really that worried about it. What I wanna do is I wanna. I wanna build this. Mm hmm. What are you? You're Poplites. Javelin men. Pretty, 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 pretty shitty javelin men, too. Recruit units. All I have is javelin men. Damn. Because I didn't invest in any of the dock shit. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. We're going to do it. To hell with it. Why are you... There we go. That's what I want you to do. Hop across the sea. And attack this place. And I think that's what we're gonna... That's where we're gonna end this episode. We're gonna take this settlement. And I think we'll end this episode... Here. Hmm. I do have some ideas as to what I might be able to do. Hmm, in terms of armies. Oh, I can still recruit one. Ha. Huh. Forgot about that. I forgot about that. I got space. I have space. I can recruit me some bitches. Boy, they ain't got nothing. Struck them at the right time. That was kind of lucky. We just kind of stumbled into this area. Well, uh, well, not stumbled into this area. Kind of stumbled upon a very opportune... Um chance to snag a lalia from Rome because we can just sneak in there and they don't have any garrison or anything hardly there so I mean as we already know mobs are I think that's supposed to be a knife but it looks like a broken sword doesn't it at least to me it does it looks like a little fucking broken sword like I got this for you fucker but anyhow um yeah so we took a lot of settlements this in this episode, I mean, we were able to defend Tingus in a way, take Kadira, take Kartuba. Kartuba! Sorry, I like saying it like that. Like, I have fun with that name for whatever reason. It fucking just rolls off the tongue. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Quite honestly, yeah, and we're gonna snag a lolly while we're at it too. I'm pretty happy about the way this is kind of going. It's rainy. Start deployment. That is one thing I don't think they do a lot of in this game. I don't think there's a lot of, um... Um, a lot of weather. Like, I mean, there is. There is weather in the game. I mean, I'm not saying that there's no weather, but I'm just saying, like, I don't see, like... I don't fight in snow very often or anything like that. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird, honestly. I... I, I like doing that. I think that's kind of fun. In all honesty, like I like the weather effects. I always, always had a lot of fun with that shit. But for whatever reason, they don't seem to have a whole lot of it this time around. I mean, like it rains uh, often enough, sure. But I don't. I'm trying to recall if I've ever like vividly remember fighting in snow, and I really don't. In truth. So we're just gonna run in there. And we're gonna put our horses and cavalry and shit right there. I like the water elephants. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're elephants. Elephants are adorable. Makes me. This is one of the reasons why I like fucking Don Fan and shit so much. Cute little fucking Pokemon. We're fucking, I want more elephant Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. I want more. I want more, damn it. I want more. But anyhow. We are gonna fuck these guys up. This is gonna be pretty fun. The Rorari. Levies. Yeah, that, uh, whatever that is. Mob. Plebs. Plebs are what they call their mobs. That's right. They're plebs, these guys. Just going fucking over there. And what it should do. I think I'm gonna do that. Go go gadget horses. And fuck their shit up. Just meet them here and kill them. I think that's what I'll do. You gotta be smart though. I almost fucked in. Fucked in? Fucking screwed one of my units up once. Pretty bad too. Uh, I was playing as the. As the Suleve because I had them over here and I didn't realize it, but these were shooting arrows at my guys before they were disembarking from the thing. Yeah, we got all fucking my cavalry got all fucked up. I didn't have much cavalry earlier. Earlier, anyway. Yeah, fuck you guys. I'll just destroy you while you're here and call it good. There we go. Thank you for routing. Much appreciated. And since they're gonna have horsemen and all that good shit, I'm not that worried about them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Elephants shooting arrows at people. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So yeah, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take these guys and then pull back. Which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull back out of range. Boy, I'm fucking the camera all up there. Go throw stuff at the plebs. Because I want you to. Yes, yes, yes. Beach your damn boats. Oh fuck, this guy's gonna go over here. Riders at once. Yeah, they're going pretty fast too. Their boats are hauling ass. And luckily these guys are gonna be all the way out there, so that's good. Yeah, fuck them up. Eat them, eat them. General and bodyguard, are you fucking cavalry? Yeah, cavalry is what you are. Yes, yes. I like this. Yeah, things are going well. Things are going well. Alright, artillery. Queen Kareme. Are you seriously sh shooting shit from out there? Holy shit. I think they are. God damn. God damn. That's some range on that motherfucker. So you get... What are you? Nice. Pr Ooh, Prinka face. Oof. That may be... That may not be fun. That may do some harm. Our is under 
You know, one thing I really don't like, if, and I've had this happen more than a few times, is like, you get into a fight like this, and your general's doing his thing and shit, and, you know, I mean, we're talking he's in, like, light, light, uh, light combat. I mean, you know, like I said, kind of shit that we're doing now with our cavalry, and they get fucking killed. I had that happen to like three fucking generals in a row. Three generals that I really liked too. I was really irritated my, with my fucking German Confederation campaign. I was really irritated by that. I was having a lot of fun with them and then they just all fucking get killed. You know, they're out here and they're fighting like all six of these fucking guys. It was bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I was really tired of that shit. Yeah, fuck those assholes up. <sighs> Okay, you guys are fighting these guys, and Jesus. All right, go go back over there. Fuck those dicks. They just want to be difficult. Fuck them. Yeah, we're getting hammered by this fucking onager on water over there. That's not fun. Not nice. Not all right. Now what we're done with that. This is what we're gonna do. You guys go fuck these assholes up. There we go. Or we can just throw. No, you're throwing stuff at this guy, aren't you? Oh shit, one of you guys are out of fucking ammo. Good god. Did not realize that. Was not paying attention at all. Oh come on, just fucking attack. Jesus, why is this asshole just running around? All right then, that's that. We have taken Alalia. And that's another province, if you will, that we now control so we've con taken control of two full provinces in this in this episode not a bad not a bad haul moving pretty moving pretty w quickly there but i am going to do something here real quick though before we get out of uh get out of this episode i am going to recruit an army at carlos and garrison them there just in case um quite honestly it's just going to be useful later anyway to have two armies jumping off of these islands into into italy i would say it's probably kind of nerve-wracking for them but with the giant ass fucking armies they got walking around jesus i'm afraid what they're fucking planning like i said not not really wouldn't be upset if they had actually tried to attack us here since we've taken Alalia and we've taken this province. I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with them doing that because, you know, it'll help thin out their forces a little bit. It's always easier to defend in this game than it is to attack, in my honest opinion. Um, and it's much safer to defend as well. I mean, like I said, you know, I am probably run into some you know issues and maybe lose a settlement here or there i thought we were going to lose tingas to the lusitani i wasn't sure we were going to be able to get down there or take care of them that easily at gadira i thought that was going to be a bit more of a a bit tougher fight but we rolled in there and kicked their asses took some names and and that was it so um yeah so good shit going on so far a lot of progress has been made but anyhow, um, as this loads up, like I said, we'll take a look, take a look at Carlos, probably garrison in the army there, um, with the intent of eventually launching these two into the Italian Peninsula. What I'd like to do is I'd like to just dump two in, um, you know, I'd like Lillabium and take care of them fuckers down there. And then dump another two, like, in the northern areas. You know, like Genoa or something like that. Oh, that might be a good idea, actually. Start up there. Take care of those, like, rebels or something. Mmm, that's a nice... That might work out. Yeah. Might be able to do that. Just go in there. 
take a couple of those northern settlements and then start squeezing, you know, the life out of them. That might be fun. Because you can kind of roadblock Italy pretty well because of the way that they've got the settlements positioned. It's pretty easy to actually position yourself and, and take them. The best way for them to kind of attack you and go around you is to, like, come over here to Alalia and take Alalia from you. Shit like that. Um, yeah, fuck you, dick. Like, cause this is, who are you? You're not, you're not rebels. You're not rebels, you're whatever that faction is. I don't know, Liguria. All right. Yeah, it might be worth, like I said, like, like with Araminum and Velothri. These are two sentiments that are very easy to, I mean, unfortunately they don't have walls. But, I mean, these are two sentiments that pretty much, you know, once you get these two, you can kind of really squeeze the life out of this uh, this area. Because you have to go through one or the other to get north. And um, if you got decent armies garrison there with decent garrisons there already, it's, it's going to be um, not super difficult to hold on to. So, there's that. Let's see, what can we build here? We're going to build ourselves a civil settlement. Like that? Do ya? Um, I want to dismantle you. My god. Jesus. No wonder you fuckers were... Like, invading my shit. Your cultural shit was kicking ass and taking names. Jesus, no wonder they have 74% of the fucking populace. They had two of those damn things working for them. Shit. They were fucking going, weren't they? Good God. Alright, so we are gonna tear their shit apart, basically. Um, kind of restructure that little province. Yeah, now this guy who's over here is like, oh, I'm gonna run away now. I'm scared. I don't, I don't wanna play anymore. We're going to do this. Um, look, alright, I know I'm supposed to go through and, and attack all these, but I'm not going to for this little unit. I'm just going to auto-resolve this shit and just get it done with. Just because, I mean, it's just one unit, and I don't want him to sit there and... You know, it'd, take, it'd take much longer. I mean, you know, this episode's probably already long enough. And we suffered, Jesus Christ. They really fucking get you sometimes. Now, Ebera. Ooh, Ebera. It's just there for the taking now, isn't it? Goddamn. It's got a decent garrison, though. We are going to move you. Move you. Get you up, back up. Over there. So we can have some eyes on Ebera and Olasipo because we might, the Lusitani may be on their last, their last leg here. And if we can take them out quickly and without um, a whole lot of fuss, that'll be great. That will be great. Um, let's see. I think we'll save everything else till next turn. Um, Betica will probably stabilize here shortly. Well, should anyway. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think we'll continue continue fighting this way. Um, with the Sacred Company, we'll probably take Ebra and I'll try for Olisipo next episode. Um, this is kind of just like, you know, there, they kind of come together. Go and take care of these two, um, and capture them, um, and we may try and make a move on Numantia with this army that we just started, um, the Scourge of Reshef, um, because the Walls of Bursa cannot move at Taraka right now, um, that's pretty obvious. We'll have to take care of these guys, and with them entrenched like that, it's going to be an absolute bitch and a half to take care of them, especially with a giant army like that, it's just super difficult super difficult um but anyhow um like i said everything is pretty much pretty much fine i think we're gonna go through 
Mm, see that? That worries me, you know, right there? Yeah. That bothers me. That bothers me a lot. What do we have at... Uh, not a big... Not a big uh, garrison at Lullaby. But anyhow, um, yeah, we are gonna... I think we are gonna recruit an army here at Carlos. Let's, uh, let's recruit somebody. Holy shit, we have no spies. We have spies that are dead. Damn it. Oh, fuck. It's gonna cost money, isn't it? Damn it. I always forget. Shit. We need to recruit a bunch of people. Goddamn. But this is what we want. Alright. Um, we want... Let's go with you, Rabal. We'll go with more elephants, because I like elephants. Elephants are cute. The lines of Tanit. Nice. Neat. That's cute. Alright, so. um, Actually, what I am going to do is this. I'm going to go into my faction. I'm going to secure promotion for you while we can. Just because we want to. We need to. And, uh, yeah. Um... So, as far as our Eastern Campaign, that's still kind of on hold, unfortunately, because we don't have much money. Um, we're working on that, though. I think we need to start kind of, like, reinvest, or not re reinvesting, but investing in some of our uh, other shit. I do need to do this before we fucking get going, obviously. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Because you're going to fucking kick the bucket here soon, aren't you, buddy? Yes, yes, you are. Fuck, is that, is that one of ours? No, it's not, so... That's, uh, this guy, this asshole. So, anyhow, um, like I said, um, the problem is, like, it's just money. We just need, we don't have enough money right now to build buildings and expand. That's the problem. I think we need to build buildings for a while. But I think, I think what I really want to do is I want to take, I want to take care of at least the Iberian Peninsula and, and, you know, have this area, all of this shit together, and then... And that way we can, that way we don't have to worry about, you know, we'll, we'll station some armies at some choke points to keep them from, from walking through our shit so that we can kind of control stuff. Um, and then, uh, like, Taraco, like, this is as good as we can get. I and mean, we want to go take Arakilum, like I said, and Numantia down here, and Brigantium, Brigantium, sorry. And then, of course, uh, Olisipo and Ebora. And once we take those settlements, I think we'll start kind of stop over here in the west for a while. We'll just kind of put all this shit on hold and don't, not expand into uh, into um, Europe at all. Let Bertigala stay as the fucking Gallic Confederation. We don't really care. And then I think we'll focus over here with these guys. Um, and then maybe, maybe go this way. Uh, if... If whatever the hell they're called, if Egypt wants to fight. But anyhow, all right. So that does it for this episode. You made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.